my god, there's a giant. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Yo, it is gonna be interesting to get out of here, to say the least, let me tell you guys, but we are fishing a very secluded, private little lake. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you, this is a private lake, so hopefully the fishing is really good. Uh, not gonna pretend like we're fishing some sort of public waters and just destroying them if it does go really well, but we're at a little backwoods private lake, and I'm fishing with my buddy Bo today, so you guys are about to meet him, and hopefully we just put an absolute smack down on him. So stick around, stay tuned. Let's go catch some fish. Okay, before we get to the fishing, really quick, today's video is brought to you guys by Catch Co. Baits. And as you guys are about to see, the Guggen Squad Grass Hero does some freaking work today. So if you guys want to check out any of the baits that we were using in today's video, that's all going to be linked down below. Uh, check out those new Guggen Baits, guys. I am freaking quickly falling in love with those things. And like I said, you're about to see him do some freaking work. So let's get back to the video. I want to see a big freaking flash just come up and inhale this jerk bait, dude. The water is so clear and shallow. If like a four pounder came up and just inhaled it, I would freaking see it all. Just see its mouth go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, there's one. Cruising that way. I didn't get a great look at her, but I mean, she was at least three pounds. That one was just going in between all those lily pads. Right oh, there's a giant right there. Yeah, four pounder. Oh, there's a giant. It's, it's literally swimming at the boat right now. If you stand up, it's right. Oh, you just he just did he just moved there. Did you see him? Mm -hmm. Biggin, like a four pounder, dude. Dude, no, that's big. That's way big. You you don't. I'm telling you. That was a, it was. I think it was about a four pounder. Dude, <laughs> just cruising, up in a foot of water. Are you freaking kidding me? Boys and girls, that is the first bass that we have saw so far. Literally just cruising around these little shallow lily pad stems right now. And Bo has been telling me, he says, if the sun pops out, these fish are going to move up shallow, which is kind of what they do in the spring. A lot of people think that you have to be fishing out deep in the spring when the water is like 35, 40 degrees or whatever. Uh, right now we actually have 42, so very cold water. But if you get a sunny day, those fish are going to move up shallow and they're going to go sit in that sun. So... We're trying to capitalize on that right now. We're gonna be cruising around. This whole lake's pretty shallow anyway, but we're gonna be cruising around this ultra shallow water, throwing jerk baits, swim jigs, and chatter baits, hopefully for some giant bass here. So we are gonna rig up another bait here. I've been throwing that jerk bait around, but a lot of this is a really, really shallow water with pad stems. So the jerk bait's probably not gonna be the most ideal thing to throw in there. So we're rigging up a little Guggen Squad Grass Hero swim jig right here. With a little biospawn exo swim on the back perfect little compact lure to get in and around these pad stems got one go. oh she popped off <laughs> oh my God. no bo Right in the hole. Dang it, dude. It was like it wasn't like a big one, but it was like a two and a half, three pounder probably. There she is right there. Still eat again. No, she will not, dude. Sure. She was like, No, she's she ran away from it. Dude, she's right there. I wonder if you guys can see that. A yeah, two and a half, three pounder was the first fish. Switched up to a little white chatterbait, Thunder Cricket, that I got on Carl's bait and tackle. And we got the little saucy swimmer on the back there. And I don't know, only took, oh, there's another one right there cruising off, Bo. But yeah, I only took a few casts of this thing and I just had one hooked up. It's yeah, right sit, yep, sitting right in this hole. There was like three bass sitting inside of there. Dude, that is crazy. First one, we freaking missed her. No way. Good one? Was that on the swim jig or on that spinning rod? <laughs> Dude, that was literally in inches of water, guys. I cannot stress to you how shallow we are fishing right now. And Bo just chucked up so far, so shallow. Oh, it's a, it's a good one too, dude. Where's that net? We got the old ego fishing net, baby. She extends. We got her, we got her, we got her. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> so I just missed like a three pounder. Just missed like a three pounder. We came up even shallower. We're literally in inches of water and Bo just caught that one. Let me get the scale on her. Let's get the scale. Let's see how big this fish is, dude. 
3.02, whatever. I'm used to the big fat smallies. I'm not used to these little baby largemouth, sorry. She's yeah, she's she's kind of skinny. She really doesn't get that big of a gut on her. Three pounder though, 3.02. First fish landed in the boat. No way. Dude, shut up. That is so shallow. I can't even wrap my mind around how shallow these fish are. How big is this one? What's, dude, it's another pretty good one. Are you boat flipping her or do you want me to get the net? Oh, screw it. <laughs> it's another two pounder. Okay. Legitimately boat caught that fish in three inches of water. So, you know, 2.29 pounds on that one. Got one. I don't know. Not really. No. Yeah, you can grab the net. Dude, this is the first one I've caught on this Lou's BB2 that freaking pulled drag out. This is the first casting rod I've ever owned that has drag. Yeah, that's a that's a chunk though. But uh, yeah, I just switched up, throwing that little quarter rounds Dugan Squad Grass Hero, and I put the Saucy Swimmer on the back, a little 3.3 inch. And we just caught us about a three pounder. Let's see what we got. Dude, that's three back to back though, boys. Literally cannot stress to you how freaking shallow this water is. Literally never in my life, insane. 2.86 have a nice little average going on no giants yet but we did see like a four plus swimming around and uh bo's caught a seven in here so very possible that we get on some megas here at some point let's get this fish back in the water bo's bo's seeing some right there we gotta get back in right there that's a big one. Oh yeah that is that's like a five pounder that dude that's at least like a five pounder that's huge. Oh, you just scared the shit out of him when he slammed down. Yeah, he's, he's gone, dude. He is gone. <laughs> That's why you guys gotta be real careful. You gotta be stealthy in this shallow water. They're buried in there. I just saw like three of them shoot out. Oh, did you see that fish, dude? Oh my. I saw him come up. Bo, oh, did you there see that? Went. No, that wasn't it. He just shot down into this grass. Did he? Bo, it was a four or five pounder. <laughs> you didn't see him come out and eat that? I, I saw him like at the last oh, second. Oh like my. And I, I let him take it too because I watched him grab it and he only had the tail and I waited a second and then he engulfed the whole thing and I set the hook and I don't know what just happened. Bro. Oh, there he goes. There he is. Do you see him? Big boy. Long one. I guess he's probably only like three or four. <laughs> Here's a long skinny one. Dude. Are you kidding me, bro? Did you see my reflexes? Because yeah, it was all, dude. They're all buried. Look at them. Look, look. They're just shooting out of here. They're look at look at them, dude. Bo, they're buried up in this grass. So as you can see, we have made our way around the entire lake. We're back by the launch right now, and we have them figured out a little bit. These fish are sitting up in literally inches of water burying themselves down in the grass and right when we roll that swim jig over the top of them they seem to freaking crush it so pretty much what we're doing now is we're making our way back around the pond because at the beginning we were not fishing like that we were not fishing ultra shallow and uh, hopefully if we go through some of these areas that we fished earlier with that swim jig they're gonna be loaded up just like that back pocket and also we're gonna let that area rest and come back through it and try to catch some more of those fish because they all scattered out but they should move back in there and hopefully eat my swim jig Got one. On the old grass hero. I don't know if it's big or not. All these fish come right at you. It's another good one. Another smallest one yet. Maybe a two pounder. Got that freaking old Ego Extendo net though. The thing about the fish in this lake, you guys, is I've literally lost three at this point and Bo lost one as well because they're all running straight at us. It's freaking crazy, but we'll put this one on the scale. Obviously not a very big one. She's going to be less than two pounds, I think, but still feels good to lean into a few especially after i've lost the last three that i've had hooked up or two that i've had hooked up little guy out on this little main lake flat here get her back in the water see you later mama we need some more biggins got 9.76 pounds for four fish so far so not on the mega bag it's a little bit of chop on the water usually will help that help that moving bait bite out a bit We'll see. Oh. It's a good one, dude. 
Dude, why do they come running right at the boat? <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> she clocked it, man. I think so. It's probably gonna be about a three pounder, but she freaking destroyed that little Guggen Squad swim jig right there. Right in the roof of the mouth, baby. This is number five for us. So this is gonna fill out our five bass limit, and then we can start calling some. Try to work our way up to a little bag. 2.95. So right at three pounds, tiny, tiny bit under, but still a very nice fish. I just can't believe how hard they're clocking it and running straight at us. And the fact that we're fishing in three inches of water, literally with 42 degree water, but let's get this fish back down in the lake here. You go, you, you lost one? Oh my God. Oh, I see the, I see the mark. Dude, Bo just had one, we almost doubled up. That one just followed me in. She was not, not hot enough on it. There's another one chilling right here too. Oh my God, there's a giant. Oh my God, there's a thing on this little thing. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> Bo, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> is it summertime dude that's unbelievable and she freaking clocked it too right in the roof of the mouth there was literally like three fish in this little clump of grass and i flipped this little swim jig right in front of them all and this one ate it uh, literally like we're in the middle of summer first call of the day 1.89 pounds getting rid of a 1.56 nice little fish there flipping <laughs> flipping dude <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about this? <laughs> we got a little bit stuck on the flat, but we're good now, boys. <laughs> So that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Luckily, we were able to get the boat off of the lake. We were actually really concerned since there was no boat launch that we weren't gonna be able to get out of there, but we wrapped it up. We finished the day, got the boat out of the water, and we caught quite a few fish today. Unfortunately, as you guys saw, we missed quite a few as well. I think that I lost four fish that I had hooked up and saw, and Bo lost two fish that he had hooked up and saw, not to mention a few other like little short strikes here and there. And I'm chalking it up to the fact that the water temperature was still 42 degrees. Uh, I did get up to about 45 later in the day, but it's very, very cold water. Obviously, those fish were very shallow and eating baits that, you know, you wouldn't really expect them to eat. But I'm thinking that since the water was so cold, even though they were hitting those baits really hard and they were up shallow, feeding on bluegills and our swim jigs apparently as well, uh, they just weren't getting it that good sometimes. So we were missing some of those hook sets or, you know, having them pull off on us. But still a good day out there. Had a ton of fun fishing with my man, Bo. Go check out his Instagram. I'm going to link that down below. He doesn't make videos, but he's a really funny guy. So... You might see some pretty cool posts on there, but that is going to wrap it up, and uh, I have nothing else to say, so I will catch you guys in the next one, hopefully doing some more Michigan bass snatching. Stick around, stay tuned, and uh, I'll catch you then.